And these men here are digging because they believe that... Snipers changing shift amidst the rubble of this continuing war. In Aleppo, it's a stalemate, but the snipers never stop. This isn't any ordinary battlefield, however. It's one of the most significant ancient sites in the world, stretching back 4,000 years, and it's being destroyed bit by bit. Sky News is the first foreign organization allowed inside Aleppo's Great Mosque, or what's left of it. Prayer rooms have burned out. Much of it is now rubble. A tourist guide photograph is all that's left of its once magnificent central minaret. In the Great Hall, sheets and rugs have been strung up to protect from snipers. The rebels take no chances, running and ducking, hiding behind pillars. This is a Prophet Zakaria tomb, and they're going to build a wall here so no uh, RBG or uh, snipers they can shoot at his tomb. This is a Prophet. And so the shooting and the sniping and the bombing goes on all the time. Yes, yes. Especially from this side. And they're ignoring the fact that yes. it's an ancient mosque. They want to. Yeah. This side controlled by the government. Mm. This side controlled by the rebels. Throughout the Warren of Streets, the FSA guard against a counter-offensive by government troops. We're right in the heart of the old city of Aleppo. This is the front line. The government troops on the other side of that wall. There is a doorway through. The snipers completely control the alleyway around it. Now, this is a, an ancient mosque, not the main mosque of the city, that's a short distance away. This uh, is a relic site believed to have held the hairs of the Prophet Muhammad. And these men here are digging because they believe that uh, it is also the site of a mass grave. They say they think that uh, rebel soldiers were shot by the regime forces before they left, and they think that their remains are buried inside. Surrounding the various mosques, are the world-renowned covered markets of Aleppo. Some of the most intense fighting took place here. But their destruction came from government artillery and warplanes. Three quarters of the market uh, were destroyed. And all the parts that were under their control, they tried their best to protect. But that part under the regime control was completely, you can say, destroyed because of shelling to the aircraft. There's nothing to suggest that the fighting here will stop anytime soon. The government forces are holed up in the city with little chance of getting out. And in this old part of the city, the government and rebel lines are literally one wall apart. What they've done is gone through the front of the wall so that they can link up into ancient alleyways. The snipers all around. This whole area, World Heritage Park, is almost completely destroyed. The destruction here isn't complete, but it is extensive. It can be restored, of course. But in this war, tens of thousands of people are dying as well. And that can never be repaired. Jerome Sky News, Aleppo.